It's so these children are really, really vulnerable. I also, another thing that's very important is it's the, erasure, the erasing, erasing of a culture and a language. So I have cases of children who are abducted at a young age, say three or four, then never spoken English to, they were American. Yeah. Uh, well, well, first, like every summer, my mom sent me to her um, mom's mom's village i think yeah and then and then there i went to the local japanese school in summer and then there um there there are there, there, it's either it's either the japanese all the japanese kids look up to you or look down to you there's no equality so mm -hmm. so i just i, I just, when i'm first there i went there um there was this one, well, on the first year, this one girl was like really nice to me. I, I, and the second year, she was just like, she completely changed. And then she, I, she pinned me on the wall and said, oh, don't tell everyone what to do because I'm the boss here. You're just a half and you're not even Japanese. Yeah, did mom let you learn Bangla? Uh, she didn't actually, she didn't let me learn. I don't know why, but but I only learned like a little bit while she was away at work. Got it. Um, yeah. Balin. Yeah, yeah Balin. Uh, Miraj bhai, actually Miraj bhai, how about you? Miraj bhai, Balin. Okay, okay. Uh, hi everyone. Hi everyone. Hope that all of you are well. Uh, I am Miraj Jutin, uh, staff correspondent, uh, News Now Bangla. I have a question for your daughter, Laila. What is her opinion and what does she want? Okay. Laila, where do you want to be? I want to stay with Abba. Um, Ab Abba meaning my father in Bangla language. She calls me Abba. Okay. <laughs> yeah, in Bangladesh. And because if I go to Japan, I can't see, I can't see him again. And I know that she's gonna, at first when I'm in Japan, she's gonna say all oh, the pretty talk. Oh, you can always meet him whenever you want. And then when I go to Japan, she's gonna be like, nope. And then, and then, she, and she also tried to go and, and like go on the airplane yeah. and escape to Japan three times before. I was there one time. We were stopped by the, I think, police, immigration police, I think. And then, and then the police said, you're, you, you're, you're, the mom can't go, but the kids can't go. And then, and then I waited there for like five hours. And then my dad came and then, and then finally when we like left that place, um, uh, I saw my dad on the car and I ran to the car.